Watching this brings back so many fond memories. Holy shit. Is that my new boyfriend? Hello, Age. Today we are playing My Sims. I wanted to play more Sims, so I decided to seek it out in other forms. I have decided to call my town Cool Hell just to trick people into thinking of something better than it actually is. This is how Cool Hell used to be. Full of life, personality, and happy Sims. For some reason, I just don't believe that. Everything in the town was so unique and suited the many different interests of the Sims who lived here. Is that what we're calling demons now? Now just hold on a minute. Is that me? Can I sue EA for using my likeness without my permission? What do you mean they moved away? I don't think you can just leave hell like that. Well, I don't think cool hell is cool anymore. I think it's just regular hell now. You know, she looks like she could be related to Catboy. Except she seems to be a little more into dogs. And I think I'm going to name her as such. Now there we go, dog girl. Hello, I'm here. And yes, I can see you quite well, ma'am. Here's my form, ma'am. I hope you don't mind I only filled it out halfway. I just got really bored and didn't want to do it anymore. But I guess that's fine since you do love paperwork so much. You could probably just finish filling it out for me. Let's get you settled into your new home. I don't know, something just tells me that I'm going to end up building it myself. And it's totally not because I've played this game before. Wait a minute, I can't sit in the chairs? But I thought you could sit on stuff in this game. I guess it's just too early in the game to be doing that. Man, now I can see why people left cool hell. Yeah, let's go check out my house. I'm sure it's just the coolest thing on the block. Oh, hello there. Oh, too bad he's dead now. What? Oh no, there's no house here. How embarrassing. For some reason, I just knew that would happen. Check it out, I built a rocket ship. Because I have always wanted to live in one. Aw, she likes my rocket ship. I always knew I was an architect at heart. Meet you back at Town Hall. Are you sure you want to leave me alone out here? Well, if all the apple trees disappear from here, you can't just blame it on me. The mayor should know better than to leave me unsupervised out here. <laughs> she sounded a little too happy stopping this dump like that. <laughs> Dog girl's a fucking menace and we should love her for it. Have you been staring at the statue the entire time I was terrorizing the plants? Hey, did you know we built you a workshop where you can do your handiwork? I'll go show it to you. I don't know. Something tells me that they forgot to build that too. And she's going to force me to build it as well. Yeah. I fucking knew it. Okay then, here's my workshop. Which door will lead you to the actual workshop and which door will make you plummet to your death? I don't know. You'll have to find out yourself. Yes, it is very exciting. I'm glad you're admitting that you're complicit to my crimes, Mayor. And here is this amazing chair I built. Now, fair warning, you will have to have good balance in order to sit on this one. Oh, come on. Do I really have to put that piece of shit in my house? Okay, fine. I guess the Mayor knows best. Jesus Christ, are you a ghost or something? I'm going to put my chair in the corner so I can have a place to contemplate my evil ideas. Thank you for the tutorial, Mayor. I'm going to be looking forward to your impeachment. Yes, I'm finally alone! I get to sit in my chair and be alone with my thoughts for once. Don't we have the resources to end world hunger? Is the mouse the root of all evil? What is 2 plus 2? Did Hypnosis Mike end corruption? When is 4 2 coming out? I am Miss Quincy! I have decided I want Afterlife back. I guess I have to go speak to the mayor again. But before I go, I have one important thing to do. <laughs> I am just doing my part. Hey mayor, I'm here to speak to you. Oh, I see you're doing some important paperwork. That's okay, I can wait. One ton. Okay, now that you're done, now can we talk about... Gosh, a bevo. <laughs> That's okay. I could just stand uncomfortably close to her until she's done. <laughs> yeah, but... Okay, but for real though, can we get this done and over with? Oh, you want a podium? Don't worry, I got you fam. I am going to build you the best podium the world has ever seen. Oh fuck, which door is it again? Um, I think it's this one? Yes, I survived! Do you just hate looking at that one politician? Well, me too, so that's why I built this. 
just so we don't have to stare at their ugly mug ever again. I hope the mayor likes this, I put a lot of work into it. But not right now though, because she's talking to someone on the phone. But that's fine, I have all the time in the world. Ah, oh, come on. I hope you're happy with the placement too. Why don't you check on Poppy and see if she needs any help in the flower shop? And let me guess, I'm going to have to build her flower shop too. It's too late for that, so I'm going to bed. Good morning, dog girl. Did you sleep well? Never mind, it's too early. Let's go back to bed. Perfect. Okay, Poppy, what do you want from me? Oh, looks like she is doing some sort of voodoo. I think I'm going to have to keep an eye on her. Yeah, sure, I'll build you a flower stand. You can collect happy essences just by being nice to other sims. Isn't that awesome? Hmm, not really. I prefer making people cry. Oh no, which is it again? Wasn't it this door? I honestly have no idea what I just made. Just accept it as it is. Poppy, I made this in the nicest way possible, but you're scaring me. And you want a bed now? Is this going to be my torture for the rest of eternity? Oh hey, there's someone that lives here. Let's see what they're all about. Ooh, looks like he's baking something. I hope he'll share it with me. Excuse me, can I have some cake good, sir? No, Patrick, I do not care about that little girl. I want that cake. Are you going to be giving me that cake now? No, he's just saying the same thing as earlier. Well, screw you. I'm going to give you a piece of my mind. <laughs> yeah, show him who's boss, dog girl. <laughs> oh no, I think he's losing it. Is Dog Girl winning? I hope she is. No, she wasn't. Well, that's a damn shame. Okay, okay. I think that's enough for now. Remember, kids, sharing is caring. I was so distracted by bullying Patrick, I forgot about Poppy's task. I sure hope she can live it safe because I do not feel like giving her a mattress. Here's your bed. I hope you never ask me for anything ever again. The higher our star level rating gets, the more people want to move here. I'm sorry, Poppy, but that's just wishful thinking. I don't think anyone is going to want to live in a town called Cool Hell. Our new visitor's asleep, so I guess I'll just hang out with the bellhop instead. I think I'm going to befriend this dude. His name is Buddy, after all. And he called me pal. Look at this. Buddy is already a lot better than Patrick. Looks like he's finally up now. Oh, no. He's an Italian stereotype. Well, you certainly can't miss his restaurant. I can edit houses now. You know what that means. This is Patrick's new house. I have no idea if he's home right now. And if he is, I'll have you know that it is a lot bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Kind of like the tortoise? Tardis? I don't know. I don't watch Doctor Who. I hope he likes his new home. Oh no, he wasn't in there at all. And he must have saw what I did to his house because he's crying. And of course, the Italian chef needs a pizza oven. Because why wouldn't he? Oh, hey there, Patrick. Hmm, <laughs> your tears are salty. Patrick, get out of my face before I uninstall your life. Oh wait, is that the resident goth? We should hang out one of these days. Ah, it's good to be here in cool hell. Yeah, that is just something we regularly say all the time. This oven runs on nothing but the power of magic and wishes. <gasps> There's a tea party? I don't wanna join. Ridafa Srivna. She really just vanished after I came out to her as goth. Gino asked for a table, so I built some this social distancing one. Because god damn it, stay out of my personal space while I'm eating my food. Buddy splashing in the fountain? I wanna join? Aw, isn't this just the cutest thing? I'm starting to think that maybe Buddy is Dog Girl's Katuski. Hey Gino, I got your shit. Oh, you're asleep? That's okay, I can wait. Listen, I can wait all night. I've got this Chinese finger trap to keep me distracted. I just realized that I could put the chair right in the middle of the table I built. I think this could really enhance the social distancing experience. Wait a minute, can I even sit in it? Ah, sweet, I can! Imagine, you walk into a restaurant and this is the very first thing you see. What do you do? Gino, get out of the way before I give you the Patrick experience. I have to admit, I have been thinking. I can't wait for the day I get to see Patrick in his pen. At this point, I want to know why these sims keep asking me to make things for them. Because they should know by now that they'll only get this kind of crap from me. 
Uh, Gino? Are you okay, buddy? Do you want to talk to me about it? Oh, thank god you're still alive. Okay, Gino, that's the last of your shit. Never ask me for anything again. I think I've had enough of this game for now. I think Dog Girl is traumatized from this experience.